here to talk to you today about some wine. Hi, welcome back to another Short Story Sunday at Amber Unabridged. Nice little creepy story today. I'm just struggling in every way right now. As you may or may not be able to tell from the title of the video, I'm going to be speaking to you about The Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. I'm going to be speaking candidly about spoilers in this story. If you have not read it, I would highly recommend doing so. If I can find a link, I will leave it down below. I believe a lot of people have read this in school. I could be mistaken. So if you are unfamiliar, it's about our protagonist, who I, I don't know if he's actually named. The, he might be named. But essentially, what we've got is our protagonist, who has been insulted by Fortunato. Now, I don't know that we actually know what Fortunato did to insult our narrator, but apparently it was worth dying for. <laughs> our protagonist is telling us about how he was wronged, and let me read the first sentence of this story because it's wonderful. <laughs> the thousand injuries of Fortunato I had borne as I best could, but when he ventured upon insult, I vowed revenge. How intriguing is that? to just kind of pull you in and really get you excited. Our narrator does not have a terribly high opinion of Italians. He tells us that they all pretend that they're experts about everything, but it's just, they're bullshitting. And he tells us that Fortunato is bullshitting about everything except wine. He is good with wine. So our narrator goes to Fortunato and he says, hey bro, hey buddy, hey friend. I've got this cask of Amontillado. I suspect that I've been ripped off and I'm just not sure if the quality is what it should be, but I was just so worried I was going to lose out on this deal. So I bought it anyway. I was wondering if you would take a look possibly, but I don't want to burden you. I can go ask Lucchesi. Fortunato is just, no. You know, the, Lucchesi doesn't know anything about wine. He doesn't know the difference between a Montiato and a Sherry. And then I Googled it, because I didn't know either. And it said that a Montiato is a type of Sherry, but not all Sherry is a Montiato. And he's like, you know, he's like, oh, well, you don't, you shouldn't. It's like, it's in these catacombs and like, the, it's in the caves, it's way down. And he's like, no, 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 we got to. And he's, Fortunato is very drunk. And he's like, yeah, we have to go look, you know? And he's like, I know all about this. And our narrator's like, all right. And he's like, oh no, but it's really wet and, and really, you've got a cough. It's really moist down there. That's It's not a good time. You really shouldn't, we really shouldn't go. I'll just ask the other guy, whose name I already forgot again, because he doesn't really matter. He's just a device to try to tempt Fortunato to come down into the catacombs, which he does. Our narrator gets Fortunato into this tiny little three by four little brick room situation and he chains him up to these to these um, bars stuck in the wall and then he proceeds to brick in the wall. At one point it was funny because Fortunato made some gesture and he's like oh do you know the code do you know the secret and he's like what do you mean and he's like oh are you a mason he's like yeah he's like well show me a sign and our narrator pulls out his spade. You can, you can tell at one point he's sort of hesitating. He's not sure if he wants to proceed. He does ultimately decide to continue. I just don't know what Fortunato ever did. <laughs> How he insulted our narrator enough to get buried alive in a brick wall. Apparently what makes Montiato so special is that it's a dual fermenting process and it has both floral and like hearty flavors mixed in together and it does end up um making it a bit of a stronger alcohol content as well here's the bottle i am enjoying this a lot i don't know that i would want to get buried alive for it that's just me there's not a whole lot more to it it is very short it's about five pages long i've had this collection for years and years now i am reading more from it so anyway that's the Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. If you've read it, if you liked it, if you hated it, if you've tried the wine, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.